note has reduced their their recording schedule, although they're still you know putting out putting out interesting stuff. Impulse has just reformed, and that's being centered out of Paris with Jean Philippe Allard. Um, Concord is kind of a quasi major, but I, I I mean I don't know I. I can't really speak with any authority on it, but they've come out with very interesting product in the last number of years, uh, and uh, and and with their own take on how to present younger musicians, uh, which which have been interesting. But most new recordings are self-generated now, or for, for smaller labels. Well, yes, but if I may, I happen I I write a lot of liner notes. Let's say for the Crisscross label, uh, which is based in Holland, and. He, Jerry Teakins, uh, who has been uh, fighting the good fight for over 30 years, has been putting out excellent recordings. I mean, really high quality, has a real feel for rhythm sections. And I'm not just saying, I mean, I have access to these records because I write a lot of liner notes for him and I get the, and I get the material, but it, it, it documents as well as any other label what's being generated in a certain... Uh, what I'd call progressive hardcore jazz segment of the New York scene, you know, from people like, I don't know, David Binney. I, a, a lot of people can, can look up the website. Also, High Note Savant continues to generate uh, a, great deal of, uh, a great deal of product and strong product. Jeremy Pelt, Tom Harrell, um, uh, Freddie, Freddie Cole, Denise Donatel, I mean, really, uh, you know, I mean, he, again, a veteran of the business, Joe Fields and his son Barney, uh, and 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 they. So, it's not entirely accurate that labels are are dead, but a lot of things are self-generated, or or musicians are starting labels like Willie Jones, uh, Ian Hendrickson Smith. Uh, number of those are the first two that are coming to mind. I'm probably. I'm probably missing, missing something. Um, it's cheaper to do a good recording now than it used to be. It's cheaper to produce that recording. The, the CDs are calling cards. A lot of music. I mean, the, there's a paradigm of you travel, you sell your CD, or you distribute it. Uh, it, it it's very complicated, and uh, and musicians seem to need to have CDs as as documents, the same way that. Artists need gallery shows. It's like a way of finding closure with a particular project, let's say, or or getting your voice out there, um, putting yourself in the fray, as it were. And the artists who I have a chance to talk to about their process are very perfectionistic about it. They want all the details to be good. And the most and the most determined ones and the most talented ones seem to keep finding a way.